where's the best place to buy a domain name? You might think that all domain registrars are created equal, but the pricing, user experience, and customer support vary greatly based on where you buy your domain from. So which website is best? I'm starting with GoDaddy, and if you're considering buying your domain from GoDaddy, don't. <laughs> Run the opposite direction. Why are you running? There are a few reasons for this, but the main one is pricing. While GoDaddy may have reasonable prices for the first year, they jack up the prices astronomically when it's time to renew. Special first year discounts are common at almost any registrar, and I don't have any problem with this as long as you're picking a registrar that also has reasonable renewal prices. At GoDaddy, a .com domain will cost $22 a year to renew. That's a lot of money for a single domain, and the costs add up quickly. The other thing I don't like about GoDaddy is how aggressive they are at trying to sell you products you probably don't need. They offer full domain protection, which claims to prevent hackers from stealing your domain. This has to be one of the most ridiculous products I've ever seen offered by a domain registrar. You're essentially paying for the ability to enable two-step verification before your domain is transferred, and this is a basic security feature that they could just offer for free. You might think that full domain protection is who is protection, but who is protection is already free at GoDaddy. Who is protection is free at just about every registrar. It hides your personal information from the public records of your domain, so it's definitely something you want. Also, GoDaddy loves to automatically start a trial of their website builder upon sign up. They do this because it's convenient for you to get started building your website right away with them, and then when it comes time to renew, you don't just have to pay for your domain, you also have to pay a subscription for the website builder, email hosting, SSL certificates, and whatever else they may have sold you. And that's really the story with GoDaddy. They're just overpriced and make it their mission to sell you stuff you don't need. I haven't even gotten into the dashboard or customer service, but it would be silly to go on with how ridiculous their pricing is. If you'd like to see my full analysis on GoDaddy, I've got an entire video you can check out. All right, so it's safe to say you should avoid GoDaddy, but what about Squarespace? I used to recommend Google domains to my audience all the time, but they were unexpectedly acquired by Squarespace. This means that all Google domains customers have now become Squarespace customers, and their domains have been automatically transferred. So is Squarespace worth using for domains? Well, the management experience is almost as simple as Google domains. You can set up email forwarding and URL forwarding for free, editing DNS records, is easy, and changing the domain's name servers is simple. Squarespace even has a slick integration with Google Workspace, so you can connect your domain to a custom email powered by Google with a few clicks. The only downside is that Squarespace lacks those one-click connection options to common website builders like Google Domains offered. Obviously, this makes sense since Squarespace is a website builder, so they're hoping you'll just use their service to build your website. So Squarespace is not a half bad place to hold a domain name until you have to start paying the full renewal price. In the acquisition deal, Squarespace said that they would honor Google Domain's renewal pricing for at least 12 months. So if you're renewing a .com domain for $12, that's not a bad price. However, the normal renewal price at Squarespace is $20 a year for a .com domain. And at that price point, your money would be better spent at other registrars. The only case in which I would recommend Squarespace domains is if you've already used Squarespace to build your website and you want to renew everything in the same place for convenience. It may be worth the premium price for that convenience, but other than that, you're better off transferring your domain elsewhere once the Google domain's renewal pricing expires. Now, a stark contrast to the last two registrars is Porkbun. Porkbun is a no-frills domain registrar with some of the lowest prices you can find. A .com domain is $10.37 a year to renew, and when compared to GoDaddy's $22 a year renewal price, you can immediately start to see the savings add up. Porkbun provides everything you need to use your domain effectively. You get free Whois protection, free email forwarding, free URL forwarding, and even free SSL certificates via Let's Encrypt. Porkbun does offer other products like web hosting and email hosting, but they aren't trying to aggressively upsell you like other sites might. The biggest downside to Porkbun is that the management panel is clunky to say the least. It's just this mess of text, links, and switches that I feel could be overwhelming to beginners. I wish they didn't put options for glue records and DNS SEC on the main screen. This just leads to the perception that managing a domain is harder than it really is. But if you can see through the clutter, you can 
still change the name servers or modify DNS records with a few clicks. Porkbot has one-click DNS templates for Google Workspace, Shopify, Squarespace, and other common website builders. In this sense, it might actually be one of the easier DNS experiences for beginners. Porkbot has great customer service, but they don't offer 24-7 support. So if you're outside of the US, you may have to wait 24 hours to get a response. But one feature you can take advantage of immediately is that subscribe button. It's free to click subscribe and hit the bell and you'll be the first to know about new videos. Next, I want to take a look at Namecheap. I've used Namecheap for many domains over the years, and that's because it's historically been a good choice if you want to buy your domain, web hosting, and email hosting from the same place. But I have to say, Namecheap isn't what it used to be. They've consistently been raising their prices over the years, and while there was once a time that you could renew a .com domain for less than $10, it will now cost you over $16. With prices rising everywhere, $16 isn't the worst for a .com domain, but they've been consistently hiking prices at a higher rate than other registrars. In 2019, Namecheap was charging $13 for a .com renewal, and Porkbun was charging $8.50 for a .com renewal. Looking at today's prices, Namecheap has raised their prices by almost an entire dollar more than Porkbun since 2019. Now, I don't have a problem paying more for your domain if it's from a quality registrar, but I struggle to recommend Namecheap these days. The dashboard is a decent experience, and while they do try to upsell you, they aren't predatory with their tactics. Instead of adding stuff automatically to your cart, they simply present you with some options and let you decide what you want to purchase. Namecheap offers 24-7 live chat support, but the response times have been getting worse over the years. Honestly, Namecheap is just a hard sell these days. I used to recommend them if you wanted to buy your domain, web hosting, and email hosting from the same place, but their shared hosting has gotten a bit stale. I would recommend Hostinger over Namecheap for shared hosting, and that doesn't leave much reason for me to recommend Namecheap for domains. Next, I want to take a look at another popular domain registrar, which is Domain.com. It makes sense that a lot of people choose Domain.com. When you Google search domain name or where to buy a domain, Domain.com comes up as one of the top options, and their website makes it easy to search for your desired domain name. However, Domain.com is the only registrar in this video that still charges for basic Whois protection. You'll have to fork out $8.99 a year to avoid your personal information from being listed in the public Whois database, which is a must to protect yourself. That brings the cost of a renewal and Whois protection on a .com domain to over $30 for one year. Somehow, Domain.com managed to make their prices even more expensive than GoDaddy. That's saying something. And just like GoDaddy, they continue to try to sell you stuff you don't need, like domain expiration protection and overpriced SSL certificates. I could go on about the dashboard and customer experience, but neither is good enough to justify the exorbitant prices. Now, not all instances of higher prices are unreasonable, and Hover is the perfect example of this. They charge $18 a year for a .com renewal, spendy compared to a registrar like Porkbun. However, Hover is a shining example example of how intuitive a domain registrar can be. If you like to Google domains for its simplicity, Hover is the closest registrar you'll find to replace it. Everything is straightforward, whose protection is included, and URL forwarding is free. Unfortunately, they do charge for email forwarding, but there are free ways to set that up with a third-party service. Hover also offers email hosting, and that's it. No web hosting, no SSL certificates, no other products. And that's what I love about Hover. It's simple. You can even connect your domain to services like Shopify, Squarespace, or Etsy with no DNS knowledge required. Their customer service is great as well. Although they don't offer 24-7 support, you can reach them during normal business hours if you're in the US, and their reps are knowledgeable and genuinely helpful. Sometimes it takes a while to be connected to a rep, but once it's your turn, response times are prompt. The whole experience at Hover makes you feel valued as a customer. You may pay a premium, but it might be worth it to you if you're new to domain names and want a polished experience that makes it easy to get started. So in the end, I'd say that Hover is my top recommendation for beginners who just want one or two domains. If you feel intimidated by going through the domain registration process for the first time and want the easiest experience, I think Hover is worth the premium. However, the costs start to add up when you have multiple domains, so if you want 
want a larger collection, I would recommend Porkbun. Porkbun is hands down the best budget registrar you can find, and calling it a budget registrar feels like a disservice because they honestly give you everything you need to manage your domain. Yeah, the panel is a bit clunky and it might be a bit too complicated for some beginners, but if you're tech savvy and have a basic understanding of DNS, you'll get around fine at Porkbun. Your wallet will thank you as well. Depending on how many domains you have, you could be saving tens or even hundreds of dollars a year on renewals. Now, if you're one of the many Google Domains customers who's been kicked to Squarespace and you're wondering if it's worth transferring to somewhere else, I think it is after the Google Domains renewal pricing expires. I'd look at transferring to Hover or Porkbun to save some money. However, if you transfer to Hover, you're only saving around $2 a year on a .com domain. A few honorable mentions to consider are Spaceship and Cloudflare domains. Spaceship is a new startup by the Namecheap founder offering rock bottom prices on domain renewals. A .com renewal is less than $10. I've already been seeing their renewal prices creep up though, and based on what happened with Namecheap, I wouldn't be surprised if we see their prices continue to rise over the years. The panel is also a bit cluttered, so I wouldn't recommend it for beginners. Beginners. Cloudflare domains is also worth a mention. You can get domains at wholesale pricing, meaning Cloudflare doesn't mark them up to make a profit. The biggest catch is that you can't change the name servers of your domain and you have to use Cloudflare DNS. Cloudflare DNS is free and always has been, but not everyone is comfortable using it, so it's really only a fit for existing Cloudflare customers. Also, they don't have the best TLD selection, so you may still have to go to another registrar depending on what you want. Personally, I'm going to be sticking to Porkbun for most of my domains. After you've purchased your domain, here are my 5 recommendations on what to do next, and you can check them out in this video here.